I finally read my first Hunter Shea book, and how was it? Let us find out. The Montauk Monster, signed by the author, Hunter Shea. It's a tale of death after grisly death by the bite of hideous creatures that are unnaturally native to Montauk. The plot. Some strange deaths have been occurring around the area of Montauk, New York. It's been baffling the officers on duty. Luckily, Officer Meredith has been secretly studying a so-called cryptid case. Not too long ago, a creature washed up on shore, and now it seems a siege has befallen the sleepy town nearby. Now, with the help of Officer Dalton, they can discover the truth, or is it already too late? This review will contain minor spoilers, but nothing too revealing because this is one epic story that needs to be discussed. Trust me, if you're a B-movie or Creature Feature fan, then you'll love this novel for sure because it is 100% for you. I'll tell you when the spoilers will come, don't worry though. I loved the characters in this book. There's a bunch of cops in the story, and sometimes it was hard to keep track of them all. Still, they mostly had their own time to shine. Can Man is probably my favorite character. He is a homeless man who is friends with pretty much any natives to the island. He seems to be the centerpiece to the whole town. He is what makes the area seem to be a friendly place with no real problems. You know, besides the Montauk Monster. Dr. Ling and her mentor are introduced later in the book, but Dr. Ling is an Asian redhead with an icy glare that can pierce right through people like Don Sorley. Sorley is one of those characters that don't seem to have much purpose until he does something heroic later in the story. Meredith is a near middle-aged cripple who mostly works at the desks. She is as smart as she is strong. She can be quite the take-no-shit badass whenever she wants to be. Dalton is the younger rookie. He has a thing for Meredith and protecting his town. There's also a housewives cast and crew, a group of party goers, and children caught on the attack with their parents desperately trying to save them. All intertwine, associate, pass by, and or mingle with each other. There are a lot of characters, but Hunter Shea does a great job of balancing them out. They are all fleshed out, and speaking of flesh being out, the gore, the visuals. This is a mean and gnarly book. Tons of throats, faces, and guts being torn out. Bodies are strewn everywhere and in pieces. It goes into such graphic details that it make the MPA scream, NC-17! NC-17! So many people die in this book, and like 90% of them have a very graphic demise with gory descriptions. Here is where there are some minor spoilers in my review. Skip to this time code if you don't want to hear them. These creatures carry a virus that melts you from the inside out. So anything from a bite to a scratch to even getting the blood in your eyes or mouth will result in a serious burning sensation. And depending where you come into contact with the bloody virus will either quickly or slowly make you melt or internally explode externally. I was either expecting a creature to come pop out or just lots of blood. I was pretty much right with the blood, but the blood is also infectious. Also, when the creatures die, their blood is highly contagious. And minor spoilers. This book is highly descriptive, and that works well not only in the gore department, but in the setting as well. This near 350-page book is highly engaging and really entertaining. I had compared the gore to something like the Rats trilogy by James Herbert. Most of the characters are memorable in their own way. I didn't 
feel a terrible loss when they died. Because I was so used to hearing people die that when a main character met his or her end, it was usually no worse than any random person. Save for maybe one or two characters. Read it when you get the chance. It's a fun book that is well written and balanced and has tons of bites. Overall, I give the Montauk Monster a 3.5. Five out of five. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below. Leave comments and subscribe.